Good morning. Welcome morning prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I. And so let us begin our day with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise the loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me out and known me, and you know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You trace my journey and my resting places and are acquainted with all my ways. Indeed, there is not a word on my lips, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You press upon me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain to it. Where can I go then from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand hold me fast. If I say, Surely the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourselves created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you because I, have, I am marvelously made. Your works are wonderful, and I know it well. My body was not hidden from you while I was being made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my limbs, yet unfinished in the womb. All of them were written in your books, and they were fashioned day by day. When as yet there was none of them, how deep I find my thoughts, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I were to count them, they would be more in number than the sand. To count them all, my life's span would need to be like yours. Oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God, you that thirst for blood and depart from me. They speak despitefully against you. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I hate those, O oh Lord, who hate you? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. They have become my own enemies. Search me out, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me, and, I, and know my restless thoughts. Look well whether there is any wickedness in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, when you descended among the dead, you brought them the light of day. When you ascended into heaven, you brought a new radiance. Remain with us and lead us along the path of life until we come to rest with your saints in the holy dwelling place, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, in our reading today, we continue in Deuteronomy in the 26th chapter, beginning with verse 1. When you come into the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance, and have taken possession of it, live in it, and shall, uh, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from your land that the Lord your God gives you, and you shall put it in a basket, and you shall go to the place which the Lord your God will choose, to make his name to dwell there. And you shall go to the priest who is in office at that time and say to him, I declare this day to the Lord your God that I have come into the land which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket from your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall make response before the Lord your God, a wandering Aramean with my father. And he went down into Egypt and sojourned there few in number, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. And the Egyptians treated us harshly and afflicted us, 
and laid upon us hard bondage. Then we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with great terror, with signs of wonder. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And behold, now I bring the first of the uh, first of the fruit of the ground which thou, O Lord, hast given me. And you shall set it down before the Lord your God, and worship before the Lord your God. And you shall rejoice in all the good which the Lord your God has given to you, and to your house, you and the Levite, the sojourner who is among you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second lesson is from Second Corinthians, the eighth chapter, beginning with verse 16. But thanks be to God who puts the same earnest care for you into the hearts of Titus. For he not only accepted our appeal, but being himself, very earnestly he is going to you of his own accord. With him we are sending the brother who is famous among all the churches for his preaching of the gospel. And not only that, but he has been appointed by the churches to travel with us in this gracious work, work which we are carrying on for the glory of the Lord and to show our goodwill. We intend that no one should blame us among us liberal gifts which we are administering, for we aim at what is honorable not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of men. And with them we are sending our brothers whom we have often tested and found earnest in, in many matters, but who, uh, but who is now more earnest than ever uh, because of his great confidence in you. As for Titus, he is my partner and fellow worker in your service. And as for our brethren, they are messengers of the churches, the glory of Christ. So give proof before the churches of your love and of our boasting about you to these men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. What we ask of thee wisely, O God, do thou of thy great bounty bestow with all that we so deeply need and know not how to ask, that in the knowledge of thy love we may have the peace that comes not of our striving but of thy gift. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining Tom and I on this Friday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and that you'll join us tomorrow morning. God bless you and bye-bye.